Okay, here we are on the morning of surgery. I'm getting a port place today. Um, not allowed to eat or drink anything anymore, so I just took my meds 20 minutes ago. My mom's gonna drive me there, and we have to be there by 8 a.m. Um, surgery starts at around 9, so I'll see you later. Alright, it's 7.25, we're getting ready to go in. We just got to the hospital. Um, I'm with my mom. Hi. Hi, hi mom. Um, yeah, so we'll be getting ready for surgery. We have to be there at 8 a.m., so we're just kind of hanging out, killing time. Just going over some stuff with my nurse. They're about to put the IV in. She's out in the hallway, but she'll be right back, and I will hopefully film the IV, but we'll see what she says. All right, we got the IV in. They didn't want us to film it, but that's okay. Um, and then we're waiting for the doctor, and I guess he'll come in and mark where he's going to do the port. Uh, oh, we got to see the port. Um, it's I don't think it's a port of cath. I think it's a power port. Which is kind of cool. You can do like MRIs and CTs with that one. Um, yeah, so that's fun. It's a little triangle shape. Um, it's cool looking. Yeah. All right. I just met with the doctor. Um, he told us where it's gonna go and how long the procedure is gonna take, what it's gonna be like. Um, sounds like an easy procedure. It'll be about a half an hour. He said the whole thing will take about an hour to get back there, get the meds in and everything. Um, yeah, so it sounds like a pretty easy procedure. I signed off saying that, I could, that they could cut me open. Um, <laughs> they said the surgery went really well. They said I was a really good patient, which was kind of funny. Um, I fell asleep for most of it, but um, woke up at the end and they said everything went smoothly. Um, yeah, so, I'll leave. got my crackers and my ice chips. Haven't eaten in a while, so this is great. I'm just hanging out. There's a cool view out the window, I don't know if you can see that, but it's kind of fun. Yeah, so, not much going on here. Alright, we're back in the car, out of surgery. I'm still a little groggy, but getting better, so... Here's my mom. Hi Using guys. hand wipe after being in hospital. <laughs> Using hand wipes. <laughs> you can never be too clean after being in a hospital. <laughs> Alright, see you guys later. <laughs> Sitting in the car at the local food co-op. Um, my mom went inside. We're going to make grilled cheese sandwiches for me. Um, she's getting some vegan soup. Um, which I'm, I'm very excited about grilled cheese sandwiches. Um, I think any bland food would be best um yeah it's i'm a little sore i just took um ibuprofen a couple and it, it's just i think it's just the incision sites that are sore um it's currently accessed so they can do fluids later today um but yeah so. today is sunday so we're um, four days post-op uh, i just want to give a little update I, uh, on my symptoms and how the healing process has been. I was groggy and then had some pretty bad brain fog for a couple days, probably from the medication they gave me to sedate me. My pain levels were really high for the first couple of days. It, it took a little bit for the pain meds to wear off the first day, but then I was in the more pain than I expected. It's slowly been wearing off and getting better. I was taking Tylenol and Ibuprofen. I have, I've had a lot of syncope the past couple days. Um, I'm not sure if it was from the surgery or if it's just I've been overdoing it or something, but every time I come to I'm so scared that my sutures are gonna be um, like ripped open and um, that's freaking me out. It's There's glue on it, like a purple glue, and it's pretty strong. Um, so I don't think it'll actually rip them open, but I'm, act I'm a little scared every time I come to that I've hurt my incisions. Um, right after surgery, I got fluids, uh, so they kept it accessed, meaning they kept a needle in the port um, so they could give the fluids, and then after the fluids, they took out the needle 
and I've gotten fluids a couple times since then, but haven't been able to use the port because um, of all the swelling and pain that I've had at the at the um, placement site. So haven't been able to use it. I've just been getting IVs. They said it'll probably take about a week or maybe a little bit more before it's comfortable to actually use it again. Um, because I can't imagine sticking a needle in there right now because it's so sore. Um, it's The bruising started probably day two um, post-op and it's been changing colors and stuff since then and spreading and so there's a lot of bruising. Um, it was pretty swollen after surgery and then the swelling has slowly gone down. Um, so it's been getting better um, as far as swelling goes and it's, it's inter interesting to see the bump forming um, where the port is now that the swelling is actually going down so that's been interesting to see what it'll look like um, after it's not swollen anymore. Um, I'll put some pictures at the end of the port. I got to take a picture of a sample port, that uh, the actual port that they're putting in, um, and then I'll show the incisions and how it's been healing and stuff so if you don't want to see those pictures I would suggest stop, you stop watching now. <laughs> Alright, see ya!